and welcome to another Instrument Show support video. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to set up and take indoor air quality measurements with the IC7545 IAQ Calc Indoor Air Quality Temperature and Humidity Meter with Data Logger. First, we'll run through the menu to give a feel for how simple the device is to use. The three buttons along the top of the keypad are soft keys and will match up with an option on the LCD. The up and down arrows are selection buttons, the centre is accept enter and the left button is escape. On the home screen, press the centre button to enter the menu. Starting with the display setup, press accept to enter display settings. On the screen, you will set up the desired parameters to be displayed on the running screen. Use the on soft key to turn the parameter on or off will turn it off. The primary soft key is to select the main parameter to be set on the screen. Press enter to save. Returning to the home screen shows our updated preferences. Next on the main menu is settings. These are general device settings including language, beeper, unit selection, time constant, screen contrast, set time, set date, time and date format, number format, backlight and auto off selection. Next on the main menu is Barrow Press. This is the barometric pressure menu where you can select the barometric pressure. This can affect the CO2 measurement. Next is data logging. Measurements to be logged are independent of the measurements on the display and therefore need to be selected under measurements. Log mode. You can set log mode to manual, autosave, or cont key. Manual mode does not automatically save data, but instead prompts the user to save a sample. In autosave, the user manually takes the samples that are then automatically logged. In cont key mode, the user starts taking a reading by pressing the enter key. The unit will then keep taking measurements until the button is pressed a second time. Log settings. For autosave and cont key log mode settings, you can select the log interval here. Choose test, select your desired test or add a new test. View data, view collected indoor air quality data. Under delete data, you can delete all data, delete a test or delete a single sample. And percentage memory displays the memory available. Zero CO, this menu item sets the baseline reading for the CO sensor. Only zero the CO sensor in fresh air where no CO is present or with a probe connected to zero gas. Under applications, you can choose the percentage outside air in the application menu. After choosing this application, take measurements or enter data for each line. And lastly, calibration. Here, you can calibrate each parameter. With the meter set up to our desired parameters and the data logging mode set to manual, all we need to do is press the center button and reading will appear on the screen. After a short countdown, finish will be displayed with the taken measurement held on the screen. As we are on manual mode, we can choose to save the measurement or exit without saving by pressing the soft keys. Repeating the same, we press enter to take a reading Once held on the screen, we press the soft key to save. After taking several measurements, we can view the minimum, maximum and average data and a breakdown on the device. Go to Menu, Data Logging and View Data. Select the test you wish to view the information for. Under View Stats, we can see a breakdown of min, max, average, and total sample number for each measurement parameter. Press the soft keys to scroll through each parameter. Going back to View Samples, you can now see each individual sample result broken up by the measured parameter. Press the soft keys to scroll through each parameter. 
All the collected data can then easily be transferred to a computer using the included Log DAT2 software and USB. And that's how simple it is to use the IC7545 IAQ Calc Indoor Air Quality Temperature and Humidity Meter with a data logger. For more information or to speak with an Instrument Choice Scientist about this meter, see the details in the video description. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.